All right, what's up, Hot Squad, and Happy New Year. Yes, that's right. Welcome to 2024. I know 2024 started last week, but I just want to say Happy New Year. This is the first Hot Banger reaction of the year. Yes. So, finally, finally, I'm back. I had a bunch of important stuff to do in the course of last week. I wasn't intended to do reactions last week, but I wanted to go ahead and do it in the weekend, holiday weekend, so I could do it at a better time. But yes, once again, Hot Squad, welcome to 2024. I am so, so excited for this year that I'm going to hopefully do Hot Banger reactions every single week, despite if I have college once again. It actually started Wednesday, but right now, I'm so ready to get this on today. And hopefully next week, and I can you see my camera is kind of acting up here. I'm starting to irritate, sorry, irritate me and whatnot, but it's going to come in and out. But yes, Hot Squad, finally back. New Hot Banger reactions this year, y'all. So I am absolutely excited for this. So without further ado, I'm going to say what titles is going to be. I hope my freaking camera will stop blurring so I can tell y'all. So here we go. So the first video that we're going to do. It's Zed Fire's recap of Super Smash Bros. Brawl, which I did not see this coming. And it's called The Smash Brothers Pull Pull Up Game is Elite. Then Netflix dropped the season two first look of Arcane League of Legends. I'm absolutely excited for this. Arcane was one of the greatest, greatest animated TV shows of all time. It really surprised me. I'm not a huge um, LOL fan, but holy crap. That, sh that Arcane was absolutely phenomenal. I mean, wow. I cannot wait for Season 2. And I believe it's coming out in November. So, I'm absolutely excited for that. So, another thing. We've got Chai Jutsu's Aquaman recap. And it's called, When Aquaman Pulled Up to Atlantis and Claimed His Hood. I have not seen the second one, The Lost Kingdom. I heard it was not good. <laughs> really not good. And it was like the final coffin of the DCEU. So... Okay then, <laughs> so I'm I'm going to see that soon. Definitely going to see that soon. Then the fourth video for the first time ever, I'm going to react to Uwe Wolo's um, vids. This is his recent recap from American Psycho. Wow, classic movie. Um, and this is called American Psycho's Funniest Kills. So like I said, it's been a long time since American Psycho. So I'm trying to remember some scenes I've you know I remember growing up because it's been so long I've seen it. So the fifth, the fifth and sixth video is going to be a double, another double Blank Boy recaps. So the first one is going to be his Kung Fu Panda recap, and it's called When Poe and Tai Lung Squared Out to Determine the Real Dragon Warrior. So Kung Fu Panda 4 comes out this year, I believe, and I'm absolutely excited for that, of course, obviously. And I'm a huge fan of the trilogy. And his last one is for the MonsterVerse, the MonsterVerse recap. And I believe this is the recap for... Got, um, Kong Skull Island and Godzilla King of the Monsters and this is called When Godzilla X Kong Turns took Turns Cooking the Monsterverse so all six videos right here gonna be uploaded today I got more hot bangers coming up in in, in course next week obviously I'm um, like I said I'm gonna do my absolute best to put hot banger reactions every single week cuz that my goal to this year for this channel, for my channel, is to reach to a thousand subscribers. That's the goal right there, baby. So hopefully we'll get to that goal, you know what I'm saying? So please support the channel. And, you know, I'm not really, you know, busy doing reactions <clears throat> like every week or so since last year. But now this year, I'm going to get more serious with it, obviously. So I'm just excited for this. So I'll squat with her to do. It's time to get down and dirty. It's time to check out Zet Fire's Smash Brothers Brawl recap. And now her squad. Let's start the year really safe and sound. Let's check it out right here, right now. Let's have a good time. It's about to go down. Sonny's. And my dog get that blade. <laughs> We're starting this year different. Oof. Oh my gosh. One of the greatest, the greatest games of all time here. I mean, I played the hell out of Super Smash Bros. Brawl on the Wii. I played the hell out of this game. Like, wow. I can't believe Zephyr actually recaptured this. I did not see that coming. 
Now, if you want to talk about pull-ups, them folks back in Smash Bros are the forefathers. It's actually absurd. There's 56 minutes worth of cutscenes, yeah. and there is a pull-up damn near every minute <laughs> to the point where I'm actively getting tight. Yeah. But you know me, man. I'll piss on myself before I let y'all piss me off. Facts. Hey, yo, what the <laughs> fuck? Well, we better get this started when we pull up to the Smash Arena. We got two baddies, Zelda and Peach, ready to see blood, and that's when the fighters spawn in. Yeah, Mario. It tastes me bad, man. Pulling up ICSL, and with this much finesse, you think the person he's fighting gonna be clean as hell? Who's it gonna be, bro? Link? Nope. Kirby. Nah. We get a little bro right here. Yo, who the fuck is this nigga? <laughs> I first got this game when I was like five years old, so I ain't even know who this old fat ass <laughs> was. So obviously I chose Mario, and I got to work. Straight fleecing them. Y'all are not seeing me in any Smash game but Mario. The way I was greasing folk back in Mario Bros. Wii. <laughs> oh, yeah. I do not know my body. Stop. <laughs> I, game I too. was decking little bro with the LeBron dunk forward <laughs> smash. Sent him to the abyss looking up at me with Queen Elizabeth. I know he's sorry. While Majin Buu's getting this shit rocked, we got probably the worst pull up you could ever be caught in. It gave Pitt his name drop. Me and the Glaze. Really, and nah, getting caught in 4K with the meat in your mouth is egregious. Me and the cameraman scrapping on sight. But they settle their differences and they end up waving towards the crowd. Only for the scenery to change. I thought DJ Khaled was blocking the sun. But it was something even worse. The Balenci Band. Bandits. Pulling up in AV, changing the whole ozone layer just for their entrance. They think they Taylor Swift. This is a great introduction to show you that these are villains, scum of the earth, straight cynical living organisms. Because they open the hatch, and I shit you not, they start dropping Magic Johnson's boys. I'm like, oh. <laughs> the spores were so toxic it started spawning little niggas. Even the hoes was distressed. The two princesses immediately pull up. Even Peach, when she has never cooked up in a fight. She ain't never cook. She ain't never make a delicacy. She ain't never make an exquisite gourmet of nutritious victuals for the world to see using her hands. <laughs> Who let Shorty on the team? <laughs> we got the whole audience watching, so she gotta show out now. But I know under that dress, her legs are quaking. And then we slide out to Mario and peep the try-hard pose. I'm sick. He doing this just for the hoes. He always trying to show out. He even gipping his little brother just for a kiss on the cheek. And he ain't getting no poom poom. Bone ass man. Like, bro, you're a loser. <laughs> This is where they really strip the meaning of the phrase pulling up. Because we got this cook nigga pulling up. Even he gets a name drop. Like my dog. And then he drops the bomb. Mario got two baddies right beside him at the moment. You really think he's not going to show out? Nah. It's in his head right now like a Mario 64 objective. I hear the music right now. <laughs> The whole gets to zoom and starts running like Phantom chasing a cheeseburger with a side of fries. God damn, nigga, chill out. That shit ain't going nowhere, bro. And he immediately stops the distraction. This is where I pause because he proceeds to get hit with the worst disrespect in this entire game. Yeah. He turns around and gets blicked in the face. Almost got his shit hit. Moves off. He gets launched away, turned into a star in awe by his old op. Yeah, and not only that, it was in front of the house. Embarrassing. <laughs> Let that shit happen to me though, player. It's confirmed. It's over. You is not him. Sonic better. Kirby's left alone to beat on this man. And he does so with straight ease. Kirby's Sakurai's child. He got the power of plot. You can choose which princess to save, but we all know the canon one is Zelda. Have you seen Shorty? She is so lucky. This ain't the Breath of the Wild version. I would have been there talking about some. <laughs> and then we get a pull up so clean, they had to play that shit three times. <laughs> Mario. Man pulls up with the AA-10 switched up in all. He sees Peach laying down like a grandma that can't get up and he starts cackling. Turns around and booms her. Damn. And this man starts yip yapping. Oh yeah, they turn and yelling to Amiibos and selling y'all on grills. Heard that fat ass yo, she's selling for five bands. Need those. <laughs> I'm out. They start running and the entire arena gets eviscerated. Got it looking like an Akira explosion. <laughs> but luckily, they escape. And then we get to our next pull up. We get to the jungle. We see Bowser's minions hitting the mad dash. Get my car out. Ain't trying to leave. But seeing them do this really pissed me off because niggas will steal anything. Why do you need bananas? This shit crazy. When we see someone cooking in the background, I'm like, oh, nah. Is that who I think it is? <laughs> oh my yep, gosh. Is that? Zion? <laughs> nah, I'm playing. That's my goat, Donkey Kong, displaying his dominance. The banana finesser shoots some bullet bills at Donkey Kong only for the second pull up to reveal itself. Yeah, did it.
Icy as hell too Clean duo cooks with the two pistols One DD call him BD Max Payne If you know you know And then end with this action movie ass pose I'm surprised I ain't seen Michael Bay somewhere recording this shit They hit this and then immediately start chasing them down Top 3 duo of all time You know DK and his little twin was cooking up They get their bananas back and they out there celebrating Only for someone else to pull up And then we get a step and another step yeah, and i'm like who could it possibly be color be intrigued the cameraman pans up only for it to be this nigga yep <laughs> you see a nigga like bowser pull up on you you might as well start dancing because whenever <laughs> bowser's pulling up on you you're leaving with free shorties and worldwide acclaim this man has no badges no achievements no accolades in his arsenal pure unadulterated ass he even whipped out the gun thinking he was gonna do something like oh scary <laughs> shut up man <laughs> see little twin had the right energy look at this nigga he's really about to fade nah donkey kong wanted his cinematic death his you got this from here ass death punching him out the way instead of cooking the 2v1 i don't even know why donkey kong was trying to show up because now you got this no badges having ass nigga thinking he's tough diddy kong goes on his own self ventures and sees a crashed r wing he creeps up to it only to see a new op Rayquaza. You got one of the coldest Pokemon in that series. Yep. You ain't give this nigga a name drop. So Yet we got one for this nigga? Mm, I got me talking like Blueface right now because you're moving like his music. Trash! Rayquaza flicks the R Wing, setting it on fire. And Diddy Kong doesn't even sit for two seconds before he immediately gets caught lacking. This Looney Tunes ass scenario. That's I'm great, crying. Right? Rayquaza's flying around, clenching him in his hand, and Diddy Kong is screaming for dear life. I feel it's so bad for bro right now. <laughs> Bro, this thing is so shook. But this is where we get one of the best pull ups in the entire game. Watch this. That Fox. Fox and Cloud. Not only did Bro hit him with the flash step, he immediately blicks him with the frame one shine. Dunking Rayquaza in the water. And this is where we get this. Alright, I'm out. <laughs> Where you going? We gotta go save our nigga. He's this way. I give a fuck about your nigga Twenty. What's a Bowser? Who's into a bottom to your nigga lane, bro? Oh, <laughs> you get your stink ass over here. Oh shit, get Lucas up, man. Oh nah, nah, Lucas, bro. So we move on to the next character and we get to Lucas. And Lucas begins to get surrounded by these little niggas. We all know these are level one bots, but peep Lucas. As expected, he's a washed MC from a washed franchise. Ah, Should have been Dragon Quest. Oh, man. Not only that, this Porky statue pulls up and you got this man petrified. As if he didn't fight this in his own game. But like I said, washed MC from a washed franchise. Should have been Persona. Oh, man. He's about to get wiped off the map. No Sofago, only for the real goats to pull up. Yeah, man. The elegant ass land with the sparkle by the toes. Okay, Tinkerbell, I see. <laughs> Think about. They fly into the air, hit this standoff, and I started playing the Dragon Ball music. I swear they was about to start throwing down. But Ness said, nah. Hits him with a PK pulse and one taps that nigga. And once he lands, another op appears from the rubble. Wario, AA-10 in hand. He shoots at Ness and he hits him with an easy weave. And then Wario's like, ha. Forgot this bitch has a switch and he starts spamming the most. I'm like, damn! <laughs> but that's being the iciest Weave Nation candidate that we have seen to date. Starts floating on them hoes like Gunna on a Weezy beat. All my Elliot diamonds is water. Money hungry, I got a disorder. This plane Rolex got more than a quarter. <laughs> I got all about that nigga. And Wario's like, fine. And then he goes for Lucas. This man Lucas is standing like a deer in headlights. He beams it right at Lucas, and we sadly have to lose. Iciest nigga we've seen yeah. so far because of this whoe ass nigga. <laughs> Wario goes down to get his amiibo, and Lucas starts amiibo. running. And this man is such a hoe, you're making Wario look menacing. How is that possible? He runs for a good five miles and starts hitting the Spider Man walk. And then he runs into Pokemon Trainer. They get jumped by all these little niggas. And he decides to bring out Squirtle. Oh, 
<laughs> Bro brought the worst out of the three. Stop. Oh, no. Nah. But after they clear him out, Lucas decides to tag along. This entire series is literally the RDC clip of how anime friendships be happening so fast. All you have to do is lock eyes and you got a new homie. But we get back to Pig. He gets the go-to to start spazzing. Look at him. Geeked as hell. Pit had to have a dramatic ass exit too. Got bro T posing. Oh, nah. But with this type of lighting, he's really a master at work. I can see it. I can feel it. He was cool. cooking. But I'm here to tell you right now. He does not have this level of finesse in his own game. This is what you call that smash sauce. Niggas that aren't this cold in their game, but all of a sudden have sauce when they step into smash. And trust me, there is a lot of these. We're gonna be picking out each and every single fraud. But Pit hits this guy, saves Mario, and they get to chasing down the ancient minister. And this right here got to me the most dickheaded fiendish shit I done ever seen. And the only reason I'm letting it slide is because it's Mario. This is an Asian minister. Mario hits a jump man, jump man, jump man, pick him up to something. Psych, this is his chance. Only for Pit to use his head as a platform just to jump and miss. Like, nigga, you have wings. We just seen you fly 20 seconds ago. Like, you are such a dickhead. What do you gain from that? Right here. we. I was thinking of that, too. Like why? Why he use his wings, man? But yeah, um, this game came out two thousand eight, I believe. It came out two thousand eight. I think it was a whole year for games. I think GTA four came out the same year too, and America saw for it was a whole year for games. You get the iciest three niggas you gonna ever yep. see in this entire series. Peep game. Starts yep. off in this desolate wasteland and we got these two ROBs detonating the bomb. Out here looking depressed as hell, talking about some Just to suffer. It destroys the area and we got someone staring at it with full intent. Mars. Mars Carrying yeah. the minister dead in the eyes. And this man really spawned a whole legion just for Marth. He knew he was top two in melee. He couldn't hold back at all. <laughs> what cemented Marth being the coldest nigga for me is he saw all this shit, whipped out his blade, and said bet. Holding that hole like a Minecraft beacon. He was asking these niggas for smoke. And that's how I know he's about it. I would have dapped up that nigga myself for being so real. And in one of the best levels in the game, he clears out that entire horde. And he ends up standing in front of the explosion. But while he's standing, we get this next pull up on sight. Yeah, better night. Ask no questions, ain't wasting no time. He said those ones, give me those. <laughs> <laughs> Only for them to get jumped mid 1v1. Niggas nah. can never respect the faith. Why can't y'all just shut up and watch this goddamn combo, bro? <laughs> like, damn, people can never respect art. But they clear out the horde and they immediately start chasing down ancient minister. Marth hits a up slash, weaved. And the knight was about to hit his 16 jumps only to get blicked. He was not trying to deal with that BS. And I really thought he was going to get away again. And then I saw this. Yeah, and my dog hit that blade. Yeah. And my nigga spiraling. I was like, yo! And after one of the coldest pull-ups I've ever seen in my life, these three hit the hardest group flick I've never seen. I know the IG hoes was fiending. The only three in this game that could actually box. They had Asian Minister so shook he fled the scene. Asked for words from them three. I could not improve that myself. And I'ma end it off right here. So we got this Waddle D pulling up and look who steps in. My GOAT! This yeah, is where me and Smash have a little bit of beef because they hoeing my boy so bad. I know it's his role to get scared, but my nigga, he is not flinching at no Waddle D. Y'all some <laughs> real life hoes. Only for him to get backdoored by a top 5 Nintendo villain. <laughs> yep, King DD. That pull up was clean as hell, I can't even lie. Yeah. Gets his gang of Waddle D's and starts scheming for his next lick. They got Wario pulling up in the V and he sees Luigi. In his eyes, that's a free band laying on the table. He immediately stops the car and gets it, only to get jumped by every Waddle D in the area. He lets Luigi fly and once it hits the V, King DDD peels off. And the Waddle D skirt off too after running his pockets, leaving bro with nothing. That gotta be the cleanest drive by steal I could <laughs> ever seen. Someone tell RDC put that performance in the Hood Olympics. That was golden this is where i wrap it up hopefully this video does well because i do want to make a part two how long is this video oh my god <laughs> <laughs> i'm going to get a drink <laughs> oh man oh man I'm, re I'm ready for a part two i'm still ready for a part two you got my light zephyr for this one also recap wow i was not expecting a zephyr recap for this man honestly because super smash bros Wild was one of my favorite games growing up on the wii I played so many hours to this game, it's crazy. So, 
seeing that man, seeing seeing this entire um story mode for Brawl was like wow, dude. You find, like it's like damn, this takes me back. It really takes me back. So W video is that fire? W video. So Hot Squad, that is my conclusion of my reactions to that fire Super Smash Brothers story mode um recap. <clears throat> so. Yes, yes indeed. So Hot Squad, please stay tuned because I have my reaction to Arcane Season 2's official look. So if you enjoyed this, please hit that button, comment, share your thoughts. What is your favorite Smash Brothers um, game? And who's your favorite fighter? I have yet to continue more of um, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, so I am definitely need to play more of that soon because I've been missing out on it. So Hot Squad, please stay tuned because I have more Hot Mega reactions in a few moments.